Time is a very important concept in what we do as traders. And I've spoken about this a lot, uh, specifically as it applies to patience. That's one of the mental game traits that is required. It's such an important mental game trait. But a lot of people either ignore time or they marginalize it as a factor in trading or you know, they, they just um, uh, trivialize it somehow, but that's making a big mistake when you do that. Uh, there are many ways to maximize your uh, trading performance, and most people go about it uh, in, the, in the total disregard of time. In other words, they, they like to put on a maximum size position, <clears throat> and they hope that they're going to be right and it's going to work out and create a huge profit quickly. So they're, they're ignoring the aspect of time. They want to take that out of the equation, which is really an impossible thing to do. I mean, you could almost equate this to quantum physics, the space-time continuum, right, which Einstein uh, spoke about, the idea that space-time, there's four dimensions, right? When you talk about it, it has uh, left, right, up and down, forward, backward, and some point in time. In order to understand where you are in space, you need to have those four coordinates, all right? And um, so when you talk about the market, you could actually talk about it as a two-dimensional system where you have up and down when it comes to prices. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, up and down when it comes to prices and also time. Uh, but people want to only focus, or they tend to only focus on the up and down and not the time. And in many cases, the time is indeterminate. I mean, that's what I talk about. The market, uh, basically the only thing the market asks of you is to wait, to have that patience. This is another quantum physics concept. It's Heisinger's theory of uncertainty. Heisinger, famous physicist uh, Werner Heisinger said, you know, we, we can't be precise in our understanding of where a particle is. It's, it's really indeterminate. We can get close. But uh, the two elements of a position of a particle, or, or let's say the two elements of the existence of that particle, its position and its uh, momentum, if you get really close to the uh, position, you don't really know its momentum. If you get close to its momentum, you don't really know exactly its position. So it's the principle of uh, uncertainty or indeterminacy. Same thing, <laughs> it's, it's deep, I'm telling you, it's deep. Uh, and that's why I tell people, they say, you know, we've had, and I've mocked people saying, you know, your service is no good because you don't give me the exact point of where to buy and where to sell. It's indeterminate. You know, to, to focus on that is, is to ignore a, a reality, a hard, cold fact that it is indeterminate. So if you think that your success is based on having something which is basically unknowable, then it should be clear by, by sheer logic that you're never going to succeed. I tell people it doesn't matter to try to be extremely precise because that's an unknowable thing. You buy when it goes down, you sell when it goes up, and you use our understanding of MMT and how that relates to uh, policy and uh, what drives the monetary system and how the monetary system functions and also using the understanding, the additional understanding that most people don't understand this and we do, gives us an enormous, enormous advantage, okay? And then when you, when you uh, infuse that with the concept of time, saying that, you know, we wait, that's also an indeterminate uh, part of the system, okay? We, we know that the market is up and down, right? Prices move up and down. We also know that anywhere in that up and down uh, frame of reference, at any point in time, you could be somewhere in there, but you have to allow that time to unfold. So, you know, how do you maximize your gains? First of all, you maximize your gains by 
um, the the concept or the use of, of the idea of longevity. If you play the game long enough, the profits build up. I mean, I've been doing this a long time, and, and my profits have really, really built up over time, especially in the time when I have become enlightened and knowledgeable about mental game. So maximizing is not only uh, or simply about putting on a maximum size position. All right, it's like going to the gym. The guy used a gym example. Well, you know, you could do maximum uh, lifts, right? How much can you bench press uh, for one rep? Or how many reps you could do, max out? I just got finished watching last week, or it was the week before, was the NFL scouting combine. I love watching that because the top athletes, right, they make them go through all kinds of drills. One of the drills was the bench press. And it was like, how many repetitions with 225 pounds can you do in a minute? They don't make the guys max out. I'm sure there's some guys there who could probably bench five or 600 pounds, but they put two and a quarter and they go for maximum rep repetition. So there is an aspect of time in play. All right, that's one way to max out. And that's how we use it. And that's the smart way because it encompasses the actual physical um workings of the market the fact that it's two-dimensional that it's up and down and there's the concept of time and if you go into the market as traders and just think about the up and down oh, I'm going to buy and I hope it goes up and I'm going to sell and I hope it goes down you are completely eliminating a, a, a reality of the market which is the concept of time you know when I first started out and maybe not when I first started out but I was already pretty um you know, experienced as a trader, I used to use time in a completely arbitrary way and it would screw me up. I would say, okay, I'm going to get in this position. I'm going to go long. I'm going to buy this contract. And if something doesn't happen in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to stop myself out no matter what. Well, that was completely arbitrary. It was ridiculous. I thought that was like some genius, fantastic system. I created some arbitrary value when it's indeterminate. You have to wait. And if you're not willing to wait, then you're basically creating or you have fashioned a system for yourself that's that's basically um, uh, sits on the idea of pure chance. It's like rolling the dice. You might as well go to Vegas and play the craps table because that's essentially what you're doing. You have um, made yourself believe that you have created a rational system when in fact it's, it's a pure uh, roll of the dice and really with probabilities very much aligned against you. So think about it. Time is an aspect, is an element, is an inseparable element of what we do. If you ignore it, then you're basically, it's worse than gambling. It's worse than gambling. Bye.